Welcome to another tutorial. This time I'm going to go over the terrain basics. We've got a few tools up here that we can use to change the terrain. And the first of which is the raise and lower. And it's fairly simple. Just click with the left mouse button to raise, hold shift, and click with the left mouse button to lower. Um, you can change the sliders here to change the size um, and the, the strength. Um, or you can hold control and move side to side to change the size and up and down to change the strength. So you see there the strength's changed if I raise it to the top while holding control and um, the actual um, little yellow and orange or blue and light blue um, gizmo there also changes um, its of uh, transparency for strength and obviously the size changes there. Um, so it's a matter of uh, just going around and clicking. Uh, if you want subtle work you can uh, just single click here and there. You'll notice now and again, if I do it quickly, that we get some flashes. Uh, there you go, there's a white flash over there, hopefully it's coming through on the video. That's just the um, areas being updated. They're actually updated in a background tasks and multi-threaded and um, when they haven't quite finished their their uh, calculations, they don't get rendered. So um, I could go to the trouble of double buffering to get rid of that, but it's nothing really to be concerned about. Um, the um, the detail, obviously, um, you can add just by getting smaller and smaller. And um, yeah, as you go along, then you can move to the next tool if you want to flatten it out. So you pick the the height that you want to flatten to and just go with that. W, by the way, is the, the way to flick the wireframe on. W again, that's all wireframe. And um, back to normal. Um, so you can just single click or if you um, lower the, the strength there then you can kind of smooth things out. Um, it's not a bad way of smoothing things out gradually. Um, so you can form some different sort of terrain just by pulling from the edge because it picks whatever height that you, you click at and then flattens to that level. Um, so that's fairly straightforward. Um, the painting, actually before I get on to painting I'll just go to this section. This is to, to remove detail or to extend. Um, so you can extend just by again clicking the left mouse button on that empty area wherever you see it screen. You can't extend out here, you actually have to pull it away from the edge. Um, whilst you're hovered over one of these largest areas you can hold the delete key down and that will just go and delete that terrain. So you can extend out to the side. Um, most of the time you want to be trying to hover around the, the centre uh, of the, the universe. Um, you get better precision with your floating point math. Um, the other thing you can do with this tool is if I've added too much detail here and you want to get rid of it, you pick a triangle which is the detail that you want to um, bring it back to and you click and you drag on that area if I just click over all of that and it wipes it back to as much as it can. It's still good to have triangles to support all of these small ones um, but it reduces it back to the original kind of size. There you go. Um, and lastly the uh, tool for painting. It's fairly obvious here. We're, we're in the BTB vertex blending, so it's just blending between the, the different triangles here. And um, you know, it's fairly straightforward. Pick out a, a different colour here and it'll do that. Uh, something with a bit more contrast. Um, so that's fairly easy. You can double click these and pick a different um, colour. There, I've got sand ripples, so we just double click that and it's selected there. You have to zoom in a bit to see that effect. It's really designed for being up close. Um, so if we make a smaller patch and circle it there, you can see the, the way it blends from one to another. Um, in um, AC's multi-layer mode, obviously, you only have four colours to do the blending with, but you also have some additional options there. It's all done slightly differently, which uh, you've hopefully seen in other videos. Thanks for watching.